Assalamu alaikum, this is Dr. Hasna and today's topic of discussion will be a very special bone. This is the bone of the arm. This is known as the humerus. So as you know, the upper limb is made up of the arm, forearm and the hand. So now we're talking about the bone, which is the longest bone of the upper limb. It is called the humerus bone. Before I start, let me just tell you, humerus bone has an upper end, a shaft, and a lower end. Now what you need to know is how to determine which side humerus this is. So it's pretty simple. To determine the side of humerus, you should keep three points in consideration. Number one, how to determine what is upper, what is lower. I mean, it can be like this, it can be like this. So how will you know how humerus is kept in the body? First part is that the upper end will bear a rounded part, almost hemispherical part called the head of the humerus. Moreover, the lower end will be flattened from side to side. So this is point number one. Now you know in your body it is kept in this way. This is upper and this is lower. Number two, the second point in consideration is what is going to be anterior, what is going to be posterior because you can even hold it like this and claim it's right. You can hold it like this and claim it's left. So the point to consider is this tubercle, this little tubercle you can see here is called the lesser tubercle. As you can see, there is this tubercle. There is a sulcus, which we studied earlier, the intertubercular sulcus. And then even more laterally, we have this in big tubercle called the greater tuberosity. So we are talking about this tubercle. This tiny tubercle is supposed to be kept in the front. And posteriorly, as you can see, there is no tubercle. So it is very easy to know what is anterior and what is posterior. So now we know that it is kept like this and this tubercle in the front and like this. However, there is still a third point since the humerus has to articulate with the scapula and scapula is a bone which is kept behind or posterior side of your chest wall. Hence, this has to make a little compromise. It can't just be said that this is the normal anatomical position. Normal anatomical position and point number three is that the head of the humerus should be directed upwards, medially and backwards. So it has to be, it can just be like this. It has to be a little backwards because it has to articulate with the scapula's glenoid cavity to form the shoulder joint. So if you are in front of a viva examiner, now you know how to determine the side of humerus. You know, this is the upper, you know, this is the lower. So you'll hold it like this. This is the anterior because it has a tubercle. And number three is that it is directed not just like this. You're not going to keep it like this. You're going to say it is. This part is supposed to be directed upwards, backwards and medially. So a little backwards and a little upwards. And this is your normal left side humerus. And this is in its normal anatomical position. There you have it.